so I just started the semester in January. Um, we go every Tuesday, Thursday to Employment Connections and we pretty much just help everyone do art. Um, so we do collages and we make weavings and things like that. For me, it's just been kind of an eye-opening experience. Um, I never knew what social practice art was um, and I'm excited to be involved in it. Like even when you go there every week, everyone has a huge smile on their face and it's just like something that makes you excited. Um, and excited to be involved in the community. So with this project, I've actually kind of been through this whole journey of how it started for a few years now. Um, Amy started doing these projects where she'd like go to schools and like just random like clubs and like communities throughout Hayes. And so I kind of started out doing these little CD weavings and something about just being able to like work with people in those different settings like just really sparked my interest. So like working with the special needs community, like they'll finish something and a lot of times that's like art isn't something that they have been introduced to because they're kind of just overseen in that. And so they'll finish something and it's their own work and it's amazing and they'll just be so excited just to show everyone, just to display that. Um, and then I think also just being able to let them find their creative freedom in that where like they'll just start doing their own things. Like not, we're not teaching them, but they're creating with us. And so it's just really cool when they like find that passion for art too, and they're able just to run with that, you know? And so that's really cool. I found out Amy was doing it and it was just so incredible to see art going out of the way to help people. And I'd never seen that before and wanted to be involved. Um, I think I have a totally new approach to people with disabilities. I don't even notice their disabilities anymore, just their abilities to make art and be in this creative space. Working with people with disabilities never came to my mind to do this as a career. And she is just so, such a positive impact in our art community. And growing up here in Hayes, it's just there weren't any opportunities outside of academic art. So coming here at Fort Hayes, having her as a professor, she has really opened my mind to new possibilities. It has built up my confidence and just a sense of community with everyone uh, from different walks of life. And it's just again seeing value in every person. First of all Amy told me what it was about and I kind of thought about it for a while and I've never been good like in a community setting but um, I thought that it would kind of get me used to art education kind of being a teacher yeah and it, it's given me a lot of confidence to be in front of people and, like talk to people I don't know it's great. They are just so creative and um, just so like willing to take risks and be brave and like experiment and that has even encouraged me and like as an artist just to um, like be willing to like take risks and do something different and and then just like they just have such good attitudes all the time so it's just always leaving so like overjoyed and just in like such a happy mood so Amy just is such a like just she just embodies kind of like love and care and um, that just has kind of poured over into our class and she's almost kind of like a second mom up here in Hayes um, even just like I was really sick this past week and she's texting me like um, asking how I'm doing and um, like encouraging me to go to the doctor and like <laughs> so she's just been like a good kind of motherly figure and I think that just is um, even just poured over into the project. The Collaborative Art Project is a collaboration between Fort Hayes State University students, myself, and DSNWK. Um, we make art together, so we're not just teaching craft or art classes as like outreach or community service. No, we're looking for community members to collaborate in making art with. My son has autism, and um, I just knew I could do more. And I feel like as a community, we can do more. 
making art, there's a, an empowerment to making art for my students, for myself, and then people with these intellectual developmental disabilities, it can be empowering. Art doesn't always have to be about, you know, thousands of dollars and um, 20 years and being a master painter or sculptor. Um, art isn't about that. Art's about um, conveying concepts and empowering people. And we can do that going out in the community. I think in our world right now, we need more people out on the streets like impacting our community instead of at home in front of the screen and, and, and complaining. Like, let's make our community better. We can, we can pull together and get some really um, bright stars and happiness and joyful um, instead of what we're seeing all the time on the news.